iOS 18 came with a plethora of features and it is totally justified if you have missed some of them and that is the reason I'm making this video letting you know 20 plus features and settings which you need to change immediately. So without wasting any time, this is me Samir, you guys are watching iGeeks vlog and let's start today's video. So Apple gave us a brand new photos app with iOS 18 but some of you might not like this overhaul. So what do you need to do? You need to scroll down to the bottom and over here you will have the option of customize and reorder using which now you can customize the layout of your photos which was not possible earlier. So let's uncheck some of them. Let's rearrange featured photo at the top and uh, of course albums again at the top and once done close it so as you can see featured photo is here albums are here talking about photos you can change the playback speed of videos and let me show you how so we will gonna open this uh, video and we'll tap on edit and right at the top you will see this speedometer tap on it and you will have the option of 100% at 50 fps or 50% at 25 fps you can choose according to your preference and you can furthermore fine tune like this and once done tap on done now that we are talking about videos you can record music playing from your iphone while you shoot a video and for that you need to open settings app go into camera record sound and make sure you have toggled on allow audio playback this will allow your iphone to shoot a video even when your iphone is playing a song in the background and that song will be recorded with the video as well ios 18 came with a lot of new customization feature and let's start with the lock screen and over here now you can edit these shortcuts on your lock screen so all you need to do is just tap and hold choose customize lock screen and just remove them and tap on the placeholder now you will have plethora of options of shortcuts you can add on your lock screen so i'm gonna add a quick note and on another one i'll choose mobile data and once done tap on done that's it another feature which i want to tell you about is now you can schedule messages on ios 18 and for that you need to open messages app select a chart tap on add icon and choose send later select a time once done send it the scheduled text will be showed in this dotted bubble but what if you want to edit the time and date of your scheduled text then all you need to do is just tap on edit and choose edit time and over here you can edit your time and date I know a lot of people who has a problem with this blinking cursor and now with iOS 18 you can stop it. How? You need to open settings app, go into accessibility, now choose motion and toggle on prefer non-blinking cursor. And let me just open the messages app and as you can see it is static now. The calendar app also got updated with iOS 18. now. As you can see, you can schedule reminder, customize month view, suggested events and location will be given to you. And of course, calendar will gonna use your location so it can identify those precious government holidays. So simply tap on continue. Now you can zoom in and zoom out in your calendar app with pinch gesture and it works in the month view as well. Now with iOS 18, you get more control over the charging limits. Now you can set custom charge limit to save your battery health even more. And to do that, you need to open settings app. Now go into battery charging and you can set the charge limit according to your preferences. But I will suggest that you set it to 80%. Well, a lot of you are facing battery drain issue on your iPhone after you have updated it to iOS 18. Well, this could be one setting which you need to turn off to get better battery life on your iPhone. Open settings app, scroll down and go into privacy and security. Now, location services, scroll down and choose system services and tap on significant location. It will ask for a credential and I'm going to put it in. And now, simply turn this off. This will help you to save some battery on your iPhone even after you have updated it. 
to iOS 18. Now you can add multiple languages into your single keyboard. Earlier it was quite the same but you need to switch the languages of your keyboard again and again for that perfect typing experience. But now all you need to do is just tap and hold on your emoji and keyboard settings, keyboards and as you can see I have already made a multilingual keyboard and uh, you can simply delete it and now I've deleted both languages I'll add again I'll choose let's say Hindi and again I'm gonna choose uh, Gujarati so once done I'll go back now as you can see these are two new markers which got added in my keyboard and from which I can switch the language like this now that action button made its way to the non-pro iPhones, it's time to customize it and for that you need to open settings app, scroll down and choose action button and from here you can add multiple shortcuts, accessibility option, features and other of course actions as well so that you can utilize your iPhone to its max potential. I'm gonna set a dedicated shortcut for it and I'll choose a shortcut and for me I'll select open an app and I'm gonna open Google app and just close it and let me just this is how it works this should be one of the most requested feature on iOS 18 and that is now you can hide apps officially natively on your iPhone so simply just Go to the app library and let's say I want to hide GarageBand. I'll tap and hold on it. Require Face ID and I can just hide and require Face ID. And it will require the Face ID but I don't have. So I'm going to enter the passcode right now and hide app. So as you can see the app is invisible right now. Now let's just go. At the bottom of the app library, here you will have the hidden folder. Tap on it. Again, it will ask for the face ID, but I don't have it right now. So as you can see, this folder will contain all your hidden apps. Those who have keen eyes must have noticed that you can not only hide apps, but you can lock them as well. So simply just tap and hold, require face ID and choose require face ID. And that's it. Your app can be locked with passcode as well. I just want to open this app. It will ask me for the face ID or for the passcode. Here we go. This year, Apple added fantastic feature, accessibility feature for people who are specially abled and one of which is music haptic. To turn it on, you need to open settings app. You need to go into accessibility. Now scroll down and music haptics. So simply just toggle it on. Now you can feel haptic feedback on each and every beat when you play a music through Apple Music app. With iOS 18, now you can sort your passwords by date edited or created with the new passwords app, making password hunting very very easy. So let's open the passwords app and it will ask for the credential but I don't have mine right now so I'm going to use the passcode and over here as you can see, there are multiple categories, all pass keys, codes, Wi-Fi, deleted security and what not else. So first we'll go into the all and here you will have all your passwords and you can just sort them according to your preferences, according to your taste and you can also add a new password, just give a username, add the password and once done, simply tap on save. Right now I'm going to cancel it and if I just tap on this button, you can also select them and you can just delete if you want to but I don't suggest you to do that let's go back and go into the pass keys here you will have all your pass keys and see the Wi-Fi networks are here and you can also share your Wi-Fi network now with QR code this is a brand new feature which was missing in iOS 17 and older and I'm thankful that Apple has added it now and talking about passwords app if you already have a password manager and want to use it instead of this particular app you can do that as well for that you need to open settings app now you need to go into general
scroll down and choose autofill and passwords and from here you can manage autofills and other settings if you need and there is this option set up codes in passwords app but you can change it as well right now i don't have any app installed but i do have it installed in my other phone and then let me just show you guys and as you can see i have turned off the passwords app but using authenticator as my main password manager and you can set up codes in authenticator as well so this is how it looks when you want to edit it so now that we are talking about privacy and security thus passwords you should put your wifi on rotating network so that other devices which are on that network does not track you and for that just open settings app go into wifi select the wifi you are connected on and now here private wifi address make sure it is set to rotating so we all download a lot of apps and give permissions to them regarding our contacts location calendars and what not else but what if you want to revoke those permissions how to do that i'll tell you so simply you need to go into the settings choose privacy and security and now you will have all these options calendar contact files and folder so let's go into the contacts and as you can see these are few applications which are using my contact and for example i don't want my jio to use my contact with full access so i can just set it to none or with limited access similarly i can do that for files and folder as well as you can see these are two apps which are using files and folder i can just toggle it off if i don't want it to use my folder and files if i just go back similarly you can go into all these options and tweak it according to your liking a lot of you might be getting motion sickness while you are traveling in a car or a bus and using your iphone then this specific feature is specially designed for you by apple and it is called vehicle motion cues and how to turn it on for that open settings app scroll down go into accessibility motion and right over here you will have the option of show vehicle motion cues tap on it and you can either turn it on or set it to automatic and as you can see these are the dots which will move as you move your iphone it is quite difficult to see on your screen but right over here you can see this will help you to prevent motion sickness while you're traveling and using your iphone and this should be one of my favorite feature added to ios 18 and that is now you can remove or you can just vaporize unwanted elements from the web page you are reading something on for example let me just close this hide reader and this is the web page and all i need to do is just tap on title bar icon and now choose hide distracting items and select the item i want to hide and simply just tap on hide and as you can see it just get vaporized you can do the same for this particular section as well this particular section as well and i'm going to do this and here i go and lastly you can make your conversation on i message even more fun with these new animations and let me show you how you can do that so let me just write a message hello and tap on this a icon and now you will have eight animations you can use for example shake small nod ripple jitter bloom explode and big also you can bold them you can italics it you can underline or you can strike through the text and once done just send it across and that's how it looks like So these were 20 plus two features of iOS 18 which you need to use right now so that your iPhone experience get elevated and if you find this video helpful then make sure to press the like button so that YouTube knows we are doing some good work and of course subscribe to the iGeeks blog channel press the bell icon as well so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything Apple and in meanwhile go to the App Store download iGeeks blog app enjoy everything Apple content amazing wallpapers i can vouch for and on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tata yeah bye bye